So welcome friends, so in this video we're gonna look at this final product, how we are gonna achieve it. So I have clamped my platform so that it does not go beyond 2 points as you guys can see in the inspector. It does not go beyond 1.81 and minus 1.81 and also its rotation is clamped between 30 and minus 30 as you can see right now where my cursor is. So yeah, we are gonna do it and this is a script that, that is actually doing the things. So this is the 4 lines of 4 to 5 lines of code that you need to clamp it. And if you know how, how it works and you just want to the script, it's over here and there's a link in the description to this whole script. And also if you want the explanation, please stay, otherwise uh, I'll do anything you want. And make sure to subscribe before going. And yeah, the explanation is starting right now. So guys, I have removed the components from the script that were actually uh, clamping the game object. And this is the thing happens if you don't clamp it, okay? So it goes vroom, out of the scene, somewhere in the dark. So right now, we're gonna clamp it. Let's get started, baby. So yeah, if you're wondering, um, this is the platform. And this is the script, how it looks right now. So firstly, you have to declare like uh, six variables because we are clamping three things over here. So we are gonna need six variables, but yeah. Uh, but technically you don't need it if you, if, if your game object is in the center of the screen because both the sides are gonna but if you it depends on you but i would recommend you to go for the six variables because it's pretty, pretty neat and if you want to tweak the values you can tweak it on your own so yeah uh, let's get started so i'm gonna make six variables public float and for the clamping you're gonna use massive.clamp functions and i will tell you how to use it uh, just in a minute okay so it will be x is 1 minimum x value x is 2 maximum x value y y 1 maximum y value minimum y value sorry and y y 2 maximum y value r o 1 minimum rotation value r o 2 maximum rotation value okay so we have declared the variables now let's get to the main juicy part so what you have to do is firstly if you want to ever clamp a transform or clamp the position of a game object so i will recommend you to not directly go for the single line of code okay because it's possible to do it in a single line but it's really messed up so make a vector 3 variable um we will name it template 3 and give it the transform or store the transform of your game object in that variable so transform the position okay and then clamp the temp23 value so temp23.x equals to so for clamping we mainly use mathsub.clamp function or mainly okay so mathsub.clamp function so what does mathsub.clamp function do it's it's it basically its name okay so it does it just clamps the value which you want uh, between the minimum and the maximum value that you have declared so it takes three arguments first is the name of the or the value which you want to clamp so right now we have to clamp uh the x temp 23 dot x value so we are going to give the temp 23 dot x value to it temp 23 dot x and then the minimum value which is xx1 and the maximum value which is xx2 okay and then in this way uh uh it's really easy to understand so and then again now we have to clamp the oh, vertical direction so matsev.clamp and matsev.clamp what is happening to me dude my computer is really old so it does lag a, like a lot so therefore you are, you are seeing this jittery movement or something like that so then the minimum value y by one and the maximum value y by two okay so i guess i have written some spelling strong so just i will just correct it c l a m p okay so, and then assign that uh temp 23 variable again to the transform so transform the position transform dot position equals to temp23 
So now that we have climbed the transform or you can say the position, it's time for the rotation. Okay. So according to my script in here, I'm taking my input from the user uh, in and storing it in input for rotation and then directly giving that input for rotation to my transform.hula angles. So basically I have to clamp in my input for rotation uh, so that my uh, rotation is confined here between two points. So let's get started. So I will tell you again how to do it. So you have to uh, use the mathsev.clamp function. So it's mathsev. Okay, rotation equals to mathsev dot clamp and then what does matchup the clamp it takes in three arguments the value the minimum and the maximum value the value uh, is, is what you want to clamp so right now i do clamp input for rotation so i would take in input for rotation and then the minimum and the maximum value so it would be r01 is the minimum value while r02 is the maximum value and then yeah i have clamped in my rotation So, is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. So let's get into our game view now and let the script compile. It will take some time, like four to five seconds. Okay, so yeah, here you go. The script is compiled each and everything is good. Now just we have to assign the values, okay? So yeah, let's start with the signing. So XS1 is the minimum uh, value uh, beyond which my platform should not move. So it basically, I will just, uh, yeah, I will take in the values which were earlier. So let's take minus 1.81 and then the maximum value for the horizontal direction, it will be 1.75. Okay. And for the vertical direction, I don't really want to move my, uh, uh, what do you say? The platform up and down. So I will just keep it the same, it would, but you know, that, that, that's not fun. So I will just do it. So it will be like between 1.1 or 1.04 and what's the value if I just put it down is and 0 0.42 and 0 0.42 okay and then for the minimum rotation we will go for like minus 45 and the maximum rotation will be plus 45. I guess I have messed up the minimum and the maximum values, so I will just correct it. Uh, 0 0.42 and 1.04. Yeah, we are good to go, bro. Okay, so yeah, let's just start, man. So yeah, we have given all the values, and now I'll just let it play, and you guys can see how it how it works. So for the okay so i will just show it to you guys so <clears throat> yeah so right now if i move on uh, my game object it does not go beyond minus 1.75 and minus 1.8 sorry 1.75 and minus 1.81 and as for the rotation it does not go beyond 1.04 and zero uh, uh, sorry sorry for the vertical movement it does not go beyond 0 0.42 and for the rotation we have set it to plus 45 and minus 45 so yeah it does not go beyond 45 and it does not go beyond minus 45 and here you go you got the rotation there's a link in the description for the script so you can guys can copy it and make sure to please please subscribe man because i want to start something in my life dude that's fucking good to go so yeah thank you for joining in peace man and i'm really sorry if i wasted your time and it was not that what you're looking for so yeah i really I uh, hope that you find what you want and yeah, I'm really sorry again.